Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here for Chantal's first day on her new diet plan. She uploaded a video, was it yesterday? Was it early this morning? I can't quite remember. But homemade cheeseburgers and uh, what she ate today. So I'm eager to see that. I'm eager to see what's going on with her. And we're just gonna, gonna get into it. I've got a new background. I'm just gonna leave a bit more space here because it was cutting me off last time. Let's give this a go, shall we? I love waking up and looking at the beautiful sky. Isn't it pretty? It looks almost like a painting. This is Friday, May 8th. And Mr. Big Bum here. Mr. Big Bum. I don't care about your Big Bum Sam. Oh, I do care that this you is quite loud. You have a with the bird. Yes. Can you turn it down? Maybe. Okay, into a cupboard. This is your bread. Oh, I've, I've heard other people buy that. It's meant to be better. I'm right? making breakfast, Sam. You have to move. I like it. It's You're nice. gonna get burned. Move. Come on. How can you every Asian. time? She wonders why the cat doesn't do anything, but she doesn't put any emotion in her voice that might make him think, oh, it's bad for me to be behind here, and doesn't physically move him anywhere. It's like when he jumps on the counter when she's trying to film. She's like, oh, you bees it. <laughs> Fuck's sake, move the cat. Move the cat if you want him moved. Then he'll learn. Hey. Oops. Shouldn't be as triggered by that as I am, but I just... <laughs> Coffee, I, I envy you the coffee. It's You're too late for coffee here. Actually, it's just 8.40 at night and I'd like a cup of coffee, but no. Oh, that machine. I wonder how many times. Cup of coffee. What's it I'm going to put this hemp creamer hazelnut. Hemp seems like such a bad choice here. I've watched this once, by the way. It's not a live react um, because I just wanted to put my thoughts together. But... Hemp seems like a terrible choice of creamer. Genuinely, like whenever I've seen it in health food stores, whenever I've seen products from it, like it smells really strongly of hemp and I can't imagine the taste is much better. There are so many vegan options that could be wonderful. Why would you choose hemp? Someone tell me, is there a reason? Is there a reason too? So let's see. Hey guys. Hi. Welcome to thanks very much another day one so far so good um, this was friday so i'm wondering how she's um, doing this now is hemp creamer yeah like i said don't know why you out. chose it here's another thing she looks horrified by however that smells yeah ew like to the extent she so thought October, it had gone off it smells like cat food why would you add it to All your right, coffee here goes nothing it doesn't smell like hazelnut. Why? Cheers. There was there was no need. If it smells bad, don't do it. Her face. It's blatantly hideous. <laughs> she just the look she gives the camera. Oh, wow. Like it it it's hideous. And she's drinking it again and she hates it? Like so you to be fair, sometimes you can take another thing, like, is this really as bad as I oh god, yes. Yes it is. I'm wearing this, I'm going to show you guys. I really like it. I like how it fits on me because it covers me. I might have to buy more. This is like supposed to be, I think, like a skater dress and it's very short on me. So I wear leggings with it, but it is really, if I'm giving you anxiety about the toes burning, it's on a timer. I'll show you how it fits on me and why I like it. Well, that was going to be my next question. They sent her that toaster thing for free, the toaster air fryer thing she has behind her. But usually when they do that, it's like you're under a contract to show it a certain number of times like a water bottle you have to do like 10 videos or something showing it and uh, i'm wondering what kind of thing she has to do to have received that oven how many times she has to be shown using it reviewing it mentioning it just having it in the background somewhere because i've got a feeling i'm going to see it a couple more times at least um this outfit she's can't remember my words there outfit she's wearing I feel like she bought that a while ago, but hang on, when it goes to the so, shop, oh here it is. As you can see, oh actually no, like okay. Covers I was thinking and last time, I was like, she she had a dress, why is it so short really? on her now? But um, I think it just tucked up, when she turned, it tucked up and didn't go back down again. I know, I <laughs> But in the beginning a of the shop, oh there you go, it's falling back down I do in the front. So, Initially I thought she had, uh, what... initially I thought she bought, a top in the same material, in the same pattern. That's 
my words, you guys. Because that's something you see a lot um, in stores in general, but also plus size stores particularly, I find. They'll get one cloth pattern or they'll get as a theme and you'll see a number of different pieces in that pattern. So I thought, initially when I saw this and it was super short, I was like, that's not the dress you bought. Have you bought it in a shirt? Because it would be a tunic shirt. But um, I think it's actually the same piece and I'm just wrong. I like this because it covers me and I feel comfortable in it. So I'll probably My video wasn't on there. end up buying a few more of these. I'll try to find like some different colors or if you find something that works why. for you. But it's uh, hard when you're big. Breakfast and I'll you know, finding things that fit nicely. Right, so oh, at all. I'm gonna have some toast, my Ezekiel bread, with the Miyoko's. I'm gonna try to eat all the food I bought. That's a good plan. She's usually really wasteful with that, so it'd be nice if I she do, did. You know, I don't want to waste. She tends to have big ideas and throw out everything have, she has and so get new stuff. So I have this bread, I have this butter. I'm glad so I'm that you're at least have. trying to do that. And just watch my portions and meal times and not just like mindlessly eat. Those are all good things to do. This is not spreading as Step by step. That's weird it's not spreading really because don't they? Is that, is that jam? Just normal jam? That's a lot of jam, guys. Alright, calm it down a little bit soon. Calm it down a little bit. That's a lot of jam. Do you need a layer of that, right. of that magnitude? That one's not too bad, but the other one, like it's, it's darker in the middle because it's got massive reservoirs of jam. How can, how can she taste the butter at this point? It's covered in jam. But, I mean, it's toast and jam. There are worse mm. things in the world. Learn how to eat normal. For the win. BBJ. She looked in cat again. Um, I'd be interested to know what she thinks eating normal entails. I mean, I might see it in this video. Who knows? But, um her idea of normal and normality i just i wish i had more parameters of what it was because toast and jam is fine people eat that all the time i guess that's what she means but a number thought something was there a number of um things could be normal and if if she gets too caught up in what normal is she's going to be doing things that she's not going to be able to stick to because she thinks that's what people do if that makes sense and really she should be looking for things that are going to work to help keep her consistent. I don't say work for her, but she wants to choose things that she can be consistent with. And some things, even if a lot of people do them, she's not gonna be able to be consistent with. So um, it wasn't a bad start, but that, that's something that concerns me moving forward with her, her idea of what she should be doing versus what's good for her to do. It's being brushed, don't you, BBJ? I've only watched this once before, so. Yes, you do. I might be forgetting. <laughs> okay, yes, you brushed him. Congratulations, yes, do, the green him. Huh? Him? Oh, sugar. This is literally the only thing she has for interludes. She's got nothing else to show or film. And you got me loving you. Oh, I stand corrected. She's in a supermarket. I'd forgotten about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought she just said she was going to use what she had. And pizza's junk food? And that means we're getting 10 bit, right? Yeah. Okay. I like burger at my TV. Hey, Shinji. What did you just say? We're having burgers for Sid. Tim? Did you say she was having Timbits? Are those Tim Hortons, like the donuts? Is that, is that their reward for going outside? I don't understand what's happening at this bit. I didn't understand it the first time, but now I'm sitting down, I'm like, mm, wait. She seems a little bit jealous of his junk food, though, to be real, guys. It's like, there's all pizza's junk food, and she has to mention it's pizza's, but she just... Did she film this before, and, and she's only just showing us now that she did groceries? Because she's literally just said she was going to use the groceries she had. Homemade burgers. Yep. Alright, guys, BBJ and I here. Whew. I really relish the day. Is that the word, relish? When I don't know. She did a grocery haul. I you just said you were going to use the groceries you had. Because it's dreadful. Yeah, it is. Waiting in line, this, that, and the other. Mainly the waiting in line. 
she's always on my chair. So I got some more THC pills from the Ontario government. <laughs> and I got some dark chocolate THC. The THC pills, I'm guessing she has to go to, she got them from the Ontario government, I don't know how the rules were there. I'm guessing she had to go to a pharmacy or something of some kind. I, if I'm being kind and then said, well, I'm going out, let me get everything. But do, do, two minutes ago, you just said you were using the groceries you had, so what the hell? And it relaxes me, helps, you know, at the end of the day, just relax, puts me to sleep, trust me. All right, so a little bit of grocery haul. So Pete and I do our groceries separate. We both go to the store. We have separate carts. We pay for our separate groceries, just so you know how it works. Um, so he has his own She's stuff. feeling a bit sensitive. I remember having this one before, and I really liked it. It is okay. the Healthy Choice Grilled Balsamic Chicken. Um, so this is... Is balsamic and pasta a good <coughs> combination? I don't eat all the pasta salads. And I'm trying this. Frontera Tinga Taco Bowl. Okay. So, and taco bowls are easy to make yourself. I don't know what kind of nutritional value those are. And having some ready. Sorry, I don't. I didn't think it should be that loud. Uh, I don't know what nutritional values are on the ready meals. I know you can get healthier ones. You can get unhealthier ones. I mean, from her perspective, it is at least automatic meal control. She just said something about meal prepping. I should have paid more attention earlier. I was making coffee while I listened to it earlier, so I didn't get everything. But I, I wouldn't call this meal prep. <laughs> but, you know, if her aim with today is just not to binge on stuff, and that's, that's a pretty good aim, then it, it doesn't hurt to have pre-portioned out meals, assuming she only eats one of them. But that will come. So have some peanut oil. Oh, that will come. These okay. are some free run uh, large brown eggs. I'm just doing a grocery haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Green bananas. You'll be happy to know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those will ripen. And if I have some in the freezer already for my smoothies, so I got a few smoothies sweet are such a bad idea because they really fill me up. They're nutritious and I really love them. Even just steamed, I love them. I, I, I do sweet potatoes myself. You do? That doesn't yeah. surprise me, Pete. Yeah, yeah, oh. You've got the mini cute flavor profile, taste profile like of an cubes? eight year old. Yeah. Here comes the 97% water. Does anyone not like them? If you've got so many groceries, why are you buying? Use what you have. So I'm going to be eating this whole thing by myself. You get the sense that she was off screen like a cattle prod. Tell them it's yours! Tell them it's yours! She's making so sure to be like, that's pizza's junk food, that's pizza's cake. And could absolutely be true. I'm not calling her a liar. But, um, well actually, in terms of her saying she doesn't like carrot cake, I can't remember when, but I am sure we have seen her eat carrot cake before. Because she doesn't usually eat massive amounts of sweets. She did show herself with some chocolate a while ago. But um, she tends to be more savory and salty than than sweet. And so I was surprised that she was so into the cake. Uh, so she's definitely eaten carrot cake before and I think having that whole cake there is a bad idea. I mean, she can't control Pete's obviously. Um, but, well, she shouldn't control Pete's obviously, how much she can or can't. Uh, but he, he, he keeps all the other crap in his room. Um, I think it would be better to have that somewhere out of sight. Especially as if you start craving things and the way you start craving things, like even if you don't love the food you're getting it from, to get that kind of dopamine hit and to get to that hit of, oh, I'm eating something I enjoy, even if it's not your favorite thing, I think that carrot cake is going to start looking pretty good in uh, however long it takes for the cravings to hit. So it's one of those things you, you'll make do with whatever you have when you just feel the need to eat. So I'd be a tad concerned by that being there, but maybe I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Shake and bake for Pete's, he likes shake and bake with uh, pork chops or whatever. And I helped. What exactly is shake and bake? It's like a coating, is it breadcrumbs? It looks like breadcrumbs. I'm never quite sure. 
I love these. <laughs> I love these. Uh, oh, the plastic cheese. Singles, chopped singles for eggs or. I don't like processed cheese. And I got three of these because this will be a good snack. Real cheese. Liberty Greek chocolate. So honey roasted almonds and caramel. So it's a bit. Yeah, of they a sound nice. Cheap. They sound kind of thing. very With sugary, yogurt. but a yogurt is a yogurt size. compared to the other uh, things. Portion cheese. control, I should say. Why not? So. Uh, yeah, portion control. If you have these, one, it's portion control. Why not? You know, have one in one a day. There's 190 calories in them. That's not the worst thing. I mean, she's trying to defend. Oh, I paused it. Look at her face. Like, it's fine. Yeah. No, no, I'm with you. The thing with portion control is it's absolutely fine if you only eat one. And it's something I've struggled with myself. Whenever I buy, like, she's got four there. If I bought four, I'd eat four. Whatever I buy is one serving size. So if I want that treat, I have to buy one because it's the only way that I'm not going to eat four at once. But that being said, she is in quarantine. She doesn't, even though she goes out a lot, she shouldn't go out as much as she goes out. So I can understand her just getting a pack. So, like your, your cat's breath stinks. That <laughs> face made me uncomfortable. I was watching a movie. Why are you smelling her cat's about, breath? Have you ever smelled your dental floss? Ugh. Have you ever done that? No. Why would you do that? Question. Well, I mean, that why would you do that? Who is We're this? using it. There's some that sound like, uh... Mint? Like face. Yeah, like mint. Yeah. Really. No, after you use it. Yeah, why no. would you do that? Oh. It smells. Like, so, it's gonna yeah. be good. It's rotten yeah. food from between your teeth. Yeah, because you weren't petting her. I was petting her! Maybe Sounds so affronted. Cat fucking hates you. Get over it. I like the flavor of soy milk for my smoothie. I'm so excited about this item, Pete. This is the Tangy Dill Relish. Tangy Dill Relish. This is a long since I've been able to find dill relish. I like it a lot, but... I hope she measures that out. I mean, I know she's not looking at her macros right now. She's just looking at portion control. But she has been known to devour buckets of pickled things, so I'm hoping she measures that out. Sweet relish. It all adds up. Did you drop it? It's tasty. She kept dropping my bum bum cream? Yeah. I might have dropped it the first time, but she definitely dropped it. It's not that funny. She dropped my bum bum cream. Fat things, but okay. We got some multi-grain buns. I, nice those, huh? I was gonna say, are you gonna eat them? But yeah. Make I mean, even burger. between the two of you, you I like cheese burger. Yeah, I got the cheese for me. Yeah. I got some of these to feed squirrels. Maybe tomorrow we can mm -hmm. go to the park and feed the squirrels. Peanuts? Yes. Got some BBQ. I love smoked paprika. Just mm -hmm. like, love it. Some cheese. Of course. Mm hmm. Have a couple ounces at a time instead of the whole block. Hey, ketchup. Somebody told me to get French's because Canadian. Wondering the floor there. The cats are bees I gotta go. Okay, guys, so that's the grocery haul. I think it was okay. long enough, so now we're gonna get to the. That wasn't um, so bad, but I didn't. Did you see vegetables in there? Were they French fries? Were they French fries? Uh, there were. Um, I stand corrected. In the beginning, there were a couple of vegetables, but that doesn't seem like a lot of produce. I mean, she did say she already had stuff, but. I think you'd do better with more produce. Salad and some cheeseburgers. So, so let's get to, let's get to, right Pete? I guess. <laughs> All right guys, so this is how we're gonna do it because I have the worst setup ever of life. Fix so it, the whole point, you were so thing. excited to do this. Like like why haven't you fixed it? The whole thing, you were gonna do massive cut <sighs> See what I mean? And why, why? So what we're gonna do is, if she, I mean, she's proving the point. Look, it's difficult, but it, it would look a lot less difficult if you would just cut that preparation bit out. I'm gonna turn on the oven, I mean the pan, to fry the burgers. I have the a fan on low because we have a very sensitive smoke detector. So I'm gonna put it on. Sorry. She's got the fan on low because of a sensitive smoke detector. Wouldn't you then put the fan on high so that nothing is detected by the smoke detector? Am I wrong? An attractor fan pulls stuff away. You know when you're like, oh, oh I, I think I'm right there. I'm right there, aren't I? Medium-ish. 
Let that get hot. We do not need oil because we have medium ground beef. It was a lot cheaper. So two for peeps here. I wanted two burgers. Having one, like them thinner. I put some smoked paprika, sea salt, black pepper, onion Pete's powder, doesn't like paprika. Powder. Why not just leave and it off the of And yeah, so. You can, I mean, that. you could just now, mix it and add it to yours. Use the air fryer for my french fries. Put a bit of oil, crisp them up nice. We're good to go. And I'm gonna Here's a question as well. She's frying the burgers, but if she's got an air fryer, why not just do them in there? I haven't tried fresh burgers like that you form yourself in, in my air fryer. So I don't know if maybe they go dry, I'm not sure, but like why go to the trouble of cooking both when you could just stick it all into the oven? I'm gonna make a salad dressing right now. Cat in the background, feet like, all over the counter. I'm gonna have these organic dried apricots. Just a little packet. I mean, you absolutely can, but what, why are you, your food's cooking? Are you just hungry? I mean, you didn't show anything since the toast. We don't know how long it's been, but I, I'd recommend maybe planning your meals a little better so that you're not getting to that point because um, dried fruit is essentially all sugar, all sugar. And um, the breakfast didn't really have any protein in either. So like, you're much more likely to go into a binge later or overeat later if you're gonna let yourself get this hungry now. A little snack. I'm gonna peckish since breakfast. They're very soft. They're very different from the apricots I'm used to, but they're more hydrated. Mm. I don't love dried. They're more sweet. Not so really. I'm gonna make a little salad dressing. I thought I had Dijon mustard, and I don't, so I'm very disappointed. Basil, balsamic, olive oil, mm -hmm. a bit of maple syrup and some maybe garlic powder or something, a little bit of salt, but it uh, kind of sucks I don't have Dijon, I really want a mustard. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have here the little mixture. Let's see how it tastes. Probably not good. She's sharing that with Pete's because she just stuck her finger in it. Here's a bit more balsamic. This is a really good balsamic. It's like really thick. But oh, quite, it's quite, it's vinegary, but it's also slightly so. sweet as well. Did she need the maple syrup? In Greece. I don't know. I could just be eating cookie. It was expensive? Yes, it was. It was like probably 12 bucks. But it's worth it! Burger grease ASMR. <laughs> they look pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to get my fry. This doesn't seem like... This doesn't seem like really a healthy meal though. Like, I props to her for, for making it herself. But if this was Friday and she had her binge day the day before, which is what she, she's telling us she did, then the day after a binge, you feel like hammered crap. Like in a weird way, the first day of a diet is both the hardest and the easiest because you, it's the hardest in the case of, it's like going to the gym for the first time. It's the first step and you put it off and you put it off and you put it off. But when you finally do it, you're at your most motivated. And usually if you've gotten to the point where you're starting a diet and you have these binge tendencies, it's after you've consumed a lot of food, just like Chantel has here. So you wake up feeling like crap and you just want clean food because you don't feel good. So it's a little strange to me that she's chosen to go in for sweets because she had the jam and she had the dried fruit. Now dried fruit versus chocolate or versus any of the junk she's been eating, I'm not gonna not dry fruit, did something. You know, at least it was fruit at some point. <laughs> Hopefully it's no added sugar, but it's an improvement regardless. Let's not be too picky. Like she, she had a low bar set, she is at least above that bar. But to then choose burger and fries, I don't know, it feels like an odd choice to me. I, I'll get more into it in a little bit, but I feel like she, she could have gone further with this, but at the same time, maybe baby steps are better in the sense of she won't give up. We'll see. Here, and yes, I do sit down a lot of the time in the kitchen. I do stand to do dishes, just a lot easier too. Um, Why didn't she just cut up the sweet potatoes and make those fries? That would have been delicious and way better. I didn't realize she had gotten a pack of fries and didn't pay a lot of attention. But the, the fries, they're like 
pre-fried or whatever before they're frozen, right? They've got the coating on and stuff. They're not, they're not really much. I mean, obviously when you go to a fast food place, they're fried and she's putting them in the air fryer. So it's better for you in that way. She's doing oven chips rather than buying them. But all right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop and get into it. I'm going to stove in that, but to sit here and prep things, which I will work on eliminating, but I'm add some fries. Not many for me. I put the burgers on low. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to these. That's a lot of oil. Why are you I'm adding oil? oil? The air fry doesn't in. need it. With the oil. Okay, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Said I was going to stop, but uh, it is a lie. Um, if you're using fresh potatoes, you need a little bit of oil because they'll dry out, they'll blister when you put them in the air fryer, if her air fryer works like mine does. But with pre-cooked chips, they've got everything in them. Like, just, just pop them in and go. She didn't need that much oil at all. I mean, if you were going to put a bit in, put a bit in, but that was quite a lot. Clean hands, yes. No way have <laughs> you got clean hands. Nuh-uh. You don't need to deep fry them with an air fryer. Um, probably don't even need oil. Yeah. But a little bit helps them crisp up more. It does when they're fresh. Those are not fresh. Oh, that's the music. Would it kill you to stand up and do this? In go oh. the french fries. We, we did not need music for that. Start. All right, guys. We made it. My salad. I'm going to What's in that salad? Is she about to tell us? Because it looks like a few shredded pieces of lettuce. I'm not sure I'd count that as a vegetable. So delicious. So nice. Especially with the dressing on it. Fried really good. Yep. And they're crispy. Mm. Crispy from the air fryer. Mm. My burger from Tahoe oh. salad just has... I've just noticed how much of that relish and sauce she's put on. I mean, she does eat a huge amount of condiments but speaking of condiments like the amount of condiments she's got in there is equal to the size of the burger that seems excessive a dill relish ketchup and mustard we're going to try my homemade burgers and see how they do you okay there's a lot of bun a lot of bun mm -hmm. hold on I mean, it doesn't look like the worst. It really doesn't. I mean, way too many condiments for my taste, but mm. really, what? Well, it, it's fine. Just wanted to do a bit of a taste test, so I really enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So she's had the toast. She's had the dried so, apricots. Oh, she's had me up for the win, right? Yep. If this is dinner time, like I would. As I say, I'd focus on having more even food, uh, so you're not having little, little, and then I'll, like getting really hungry because that's just going to lead to disaster. <laughs> All right, guys. So I wish she timestamp uh, when dinner. she is eating. Well, she and says dinner. And then uh, we'll see you in the next clip, I guess, huh? Yep. Bye, guys. I'd be interested in time she's okay. eating and how early or late she got up. Movie to watch tonight. Yeah. Probably, I've seen Spirited Away. These are um, she's gonna fast movies, forward this a little bit because I don't care about it. I don't I'm care about the movies. Oh, focus there. She ate some of that chocolate. So that she's meant. But sorry, that she's meant to eat. She says it puts her to sleep. So I'm guessing she has a portion she's supposed to eat uh, a certain amount of time before bed. I guess. It's a bit, it's a bit dangerous putting that in chocolate, really. I mean, could you just imagine her getting munchy one night and eating the whole thing? And then just having a massive dose of it in her system? That's the chocolate. That's about five milligrams of uh, THC. She'd eat it for the food and then just be high yeah, as balls. We're watching Arietti, the okay. fireplace. Arietti. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the borrowers, isn't it? In the BBJ. More hey, cat. BBJ? BBJ's wearing a pillbox hat. Why are all the boxes still in the middle of their living room? Would you not just... I mean, do they keep them for the cats, maybe? Am I being too judgmental? 
possibly. See? A sprint cap pillbox hat. I'm sure that's not annoying for Baby J at all. <laughs> she doesn't care. This is why she bites you. <laughs> she remembers. I'm I'll back. Never forget. Well, I'm gonna eat this Liberty Greek yogurt thing that I showed you guys earlier. Hey, Sam. Oh, you go like this. That's so cute. It looks nice. We'll see how this tastes. I think it's like a vanilla yogurt and then you got chocolate. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> so I'm gonna have this. Hopefully I didn't have three meals. This would be two meals and a snack. And yes, I look forward to those three meals. So two meals and two snacks. I don't know if skipping yeah. one is she good. Had, she had that fruit. It depends when I go to bed or not. I guess it depends when I go to bed. But we'll see. I don't think like every single video I do will just be what I eat, but there will be quite a bit of that, especially right now as I get used to a new way of eating and stuff. Well, and you can say bye to Sam, and I'll see you guys soon. What do you think you're doing here? Lying on your counter, covering it in the dregs of cat shit from my litter box. That's what I think he's doing there. Um, he's beating a cute boy. He's lying there, yeah. trying to sleep while you're bothering him. He's not beaten. <laughs> Just leave him alone. Ho 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 Okay, so Pizza's gonna take a nice big slice of his carrot. I still think this cake is gonna lead to disaster. If it hasn't already, because this was Friday. So it's currently Sunday here. I'm guessing it's the same. Uh, yeah, it's 10 past nine here right now. So I'm guessing it's the same in Canada right now. It was a bad choice to have that in the house. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Cake. Nobody judge Pizza's eating habits. Way to project. <laughs> I kind of like that as a response. He's like, what do I care? I'm not a YouTuber. I don't get. He doesn't have the same response as uh, Chantal does to that. He's, he's not emotionally invested in our opinion the way Chantal is, but refuses to admit. Um, she projected a little bit there. Jesus, don't judge him for the way he ate. <laughs> that is last meal. Of the day, this is my third meal and I had a snack, so three meals, one snack. Okay, this. This is where I really want to know the time. They said dinner before, that's fine. They watched a movie and then um, she had that yogurt and now she's having another meal. So I just, either it's not been a lot of time since dinner or it's been a long time and it's super late and that's not going to be good to sleep on. I'm not sure which, but there's some, there's some planning issues there that she may be, she could make her life easier if she looked into a little bit. I'm having this taco bowl mm -hmm. from Frontera. Put it in the microwave for three and a half minutes. And I did add a little bit of shredded cheese on top. Mm -hmm. It actually looks really good, doesn't it? Not, not really. It I mean, it, it yep. could look worse, right, but... Yeah, not all, uh, not all frozen meals look good. I would have maybe put it onto a plate um, of my own to make it look better. Some of them look absolutely horrendous. This is true. I mean, when I make like a bolognese and I stick cheese on top of it, it looks pretty much the same. I can't judge too hard. I wouldn't say it looks good, but I'm sure it will taste good. Um, yeah, that one actually looks... Uh, Taco stuff with melted cheese. There's nothing too like offensive about it. Probably will be tasty for you. Actually... Gonna put it 25 more seconds. We have a powerful microwave, but oh, I wanted the rice to cook up a bit more and the, more of the liquid to absorb. 
So I'm gonna try this. One of a Glock cup. It's a bit hot, as you can see. It's that holy Glock. But the spice right? smells nice. I mean, it's probably fine. You know, it's it's a taco bowl. It's not mm. gonna be too bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Look. Like, yeah, this one. 17 grams of protein, so he cooked just, chicken pieces. He just told us what was it. Cooked grain bread, uh, blend. Brown rice, white rice, red rice, and amaranth. I mean, as far as ready goes, it doesn't seem like a terrible off. choice. It really taste doesn't. Mm. Can taste the um, cilantro. So good. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching me, and I feel really good. If I can make it through tonight, I'll feel really good in the morning. Yeah, so you I'm will just do. going to pray for the strength to get through it, and um, I got through it too. I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Okay. So, in terms of her eating, she really didn't do too badly today. I mean, I have to assume that what she showed us is what she ate because if we say okay well she was lying the whole time then you, you can't react to that because you can't there's nothing you can rely on to react to but assuming this is what she actually ate there are things she could do that will make her life easier she can plan a little better so she's eating more during the day so that she doesn't get as hungry at night she can plan the timing of her meals better but she chose ways to portion control that were already built in so she didn't have to. That wasn't bad. Um, she did try to stick. She made a plan of, okay, three meals and two snacks. And she stuck to it. So in that sense, I'd say kudos to her. I'm still concerned by the fact that carrot cake is there. And just the quality of the food. It's still better than having a day full of junk like yesterday. When we consider the two videos, obviously today's was better. But um, I'd really love to see her, if she's going to have those ready meals, do something like roast a load of broccoli, stick it in the air fryer behind you, little bit of oil, little bit of oil, or a spray maybe, and some garlic, roast it up. Because if you eat an entire tray of broccoli even, it's a tray of broccoli, who cares? It's not going to add much to your calorie count, but you're going to find it a lot more satisfying. It's going to stay with you longer. Just nutritionally, it's better. Because you had a bit of lettuce there covered in that not marinade kind of like marinade a dressing but you didn't have a huge amount of vegetables today at all really i mean you had the ketchup the relish the burger the fries the fruit was dried so partial credit still dried fruit versus something worse so credit i think she can do better but i'm also i'm not entirely mad at it for uh mad at it i'm not entirely mad at her for this because there is sense to taking smaller steps because the time she's really gone all out, like two days ago, was it? She was trying to be vegan and just completely failed. Like didn't even last a day, ate all of pizza's leftovers of his pepperoni pizza, was not satisfied at all. So she's done better than I thought she'd do today because I didn't think she'd get through today. I do have concerns, but this is definitely an improvement. So I, my hopes for her right now is one that she didn't go off track during the night because she didn't seem sure of that. And the more you eat late at night, the longer you stay awake. So the fact that she ate that meal right after she'd taken her thing to help her sleep is concerning to me because if you eat, it's gonna wake you up. And then um, just the fact that she's got the stuff around her. My, I think the best thing for her and what I'm really hoping for is just to see her get through one week. Those are my, my hopes and my expectations for her. Not that I'm saying I want her to fail in one week, but a week would be longer than she dedicated to a task in a very long time. And I think if she could make it a week, she could possibly see some progress. So just make it for a week and you can do it. And uh, fingers crossed the next video isn't going to be her saying, yeah, I ate the entire cake and then ordered pizza. That's, that's what we're hoping will not happen. <laughs> um, I think the next video is going to be a bit more telling. Like I say, the first day is the worst because it's the hardest to start, but tends to be when you're the most motivated. So this could go a lot of ways, but fingers crossed for it. 
I'll see you next time everybody, thank you for watching, that's kind of where I am, give me your thoughts in the comments, let me know how you feel about today, do you think she's being honest with everything, do you think that carrot cake's gone, I know there's a lot of hate in the community but I, I think she set herself up for some struggles there and I hope that once she feels she's got a handle on just cutting out, because that was really what today was about, today was about cutting out the binge and if she, and if she focuses on that for the next week, okay, I would call that a success. But I'd love in the future when she feels a bit more secure in what she's doing to see her relook at her days and find ways that are going to make it easier for her to stay on track. Okay, guys, so that's everything, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.